Hey guys, welcome back to this series of videos on static timing analysis concepts. And in this video, and in the couple of videos followed by this video, we will try to understand some of the terminologies used in static timing analysis. Since uh, there are too many terminologies to be covered, uh, we will not be able to cover all of them in this single video. So without wasting time, let's head straight to the topic. So one of the fundamental and very important terminology that we use is the delay and also the slew in circuits, right? So what is delay? Delay is nothing but the time taken by the signal to propagate from one point to another point in the circuit, be it from a cell to cell or be it from one end of a wire to another end of wire or anywhere from one pin of a chip to another pin of a chip. It is called delay because it takes finite amount of time to travel from one place to another so majorly there are two types of delays uh, that we are going to study in uh, vlsi one is the cell delay and second one is the wire delay cell delay or propagation delay of a cell or a gate delay is the time taken by the signal to propagate through the gate for example let's take a AND gate or a NOT gate, something like that. Now we provide input to that gate and it takes some time for that input to produce output. So the signal takes some time to traverse through that cell. That propagation delay is called as the cell delay. With the advancements in the technologies, uh, we are able to reduce the cell delay by reduction of the cell size. So in today's technology nodes, the modern technology nodes, it's very less. The contribution of the cell delay is very less compared to the wire delay. The second one is actually the wire delay or net delay or it's also called as interconnect delay or sometimes also called as extrinsic delay or also called as sometimes flight time because you see the, there is a terminology called flight lines or fly lines in uh, CAT tools. So this is similar to flight time. It takes some amount of time to fly from one region of the chip to another region. So that time is called as flight time. To so the wire delay is nothing but the delay due to parasitics on the net. So we consider sometimes uh, the wires as ideal wires but in fact in reality wires do have their own parasitic resistance and capacitance why are we calling them parasitic it's because we don't want them to have that resistance and capacitance it is an unintended and unwanted uh, resistance and capacitance it would be fine for us if the signal would have traveled from one cell to another cell within no time but it is not possible so it, those things have certain capacitance and resistance because of that we will have the wire delay and wire delay is most dominant in today's technology nodes and it encompasses more than 80 percent of the total propagation delay of the entire chip sometimes the term slew or sometimes we call it as transition time is nothing but the time taken by the signal to change its state be it from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 we usually consider the transition to be instantaneous and it is just ideal it is not the reality we consider sometimes it's like from 0 to 1 instantaneously right it, in reality, it, it will take some time to rise from zero to one state and again it will go to overshoot and then it will settle, right? Again, if it has to go to a zero state, it will take some time to discharge. This is the charge time and discharge time of the capacitance of the load. Right? So this is because of this, uh, there is slew, the transition time. We want this slew as ideal as possible, which is we want this slew to be zero, the transition time to be zero, but in reality, it won't be the case. Now let's understand uh, cell delay in a little detail. Let's understand what is intrinsic delay of a cell. Now intrinsic delay of a cell is something that the cell delay itself without considering the external parameters because a cell cannot be isolated completely right? because it, it is connected to its inputs and outputs. The cell delay is actually a function of input slew and the output load or output capacitance. But intrinsic delay is something that we define for a logic gate or a cell 
which is nothing but the cell delay for near to zero slew at the input and no load connected to the output. So this is nothing but the minimum delay that is offered by the cell actually. Now you see that we have considered no slew at input which means it will rise from zero to one instantaneously and also at the output we have zero capacitance which does not mean that it doesn't have output capacitance at all because we will have the cell's parasitic capacitance itself but the output capacitance which means the it is not we, we will consider it as not connected to any of the cells or wires we will not consider those capacitance values there are many factors which are affecting this cell delay actually we will try to understand some of them the factors affecting the cell delays are following supply voltage as the supply voltage increases the delay actually reduces which means it becomes the circuit becomes faster that if we decrease the supply voltage the performance of the device will decrease which means the delay will increase and that becomes a problem for us the next factor is nothing but the load at the output pin as we see that the load at the output pin increases the delay also increases that's because it takes some it takes more and more and more time to fill that bucket consider this as a bucket and we need to fill that bucket with the water coming from this vdt which means the same thing uh, but in electrically is just the, uh, the charge which has to charge up this uh, capacitor this capacitor is bigger capacitor then it takes more time to charge this capacitor so definitely the load at the output uh, as it increases the delay also increases the next parameter is the slew of the signal at the input which means this variation from zero to one slew as it increases the delay also actually increases and the next parameter is the temperature as the temperature increases the delay also increases that is because actually uh, the as the temperature increases the atoms vibrate more and it hinders the flow of electrons and that will cause uh, the delay to increase but there is a concept of temperature inversion at lower technology nodes which i will not discuss now we will see that in the um, upcoming videos and the last topic for this video is nothing but the pulse width what is the pulse width pulse width is the duration of time for which the clock will stay stable in a particular state in digital design actually clock must have a minimum pulse width for for the purpose of the operation of the design no let's try to understand why is that first of all what is the pulse width it's the uh, it's defined from the 50 percent of the value of the logic state from here vdd by 2 to next vdd by 2 that is over here right from from here to here this is actually called as pulse width and this is pulse high and pulse low now we know that there is there is this transition time from 0 to 1 right so let's understand that with another figure now here it is very nice because the pulse width is high but now you see this case where the rise time is significant time compared to this total pulse width here right this this is let's say this is the state where it is staying at logic 1 from here to here this time if the slew increases significantly let's say this is becoming more and more then it will not stay at this state for very uh, for a significant time which will affect the operation of the device so the pulse width is a very important parameter and it will have a minimum uh, the designs should have the minimum pulse width uh, for the integrated circuit to operate properly so that's it for this video we will have a few more topics such as uh, timing arcs timing paths and also there are videos already made on uh, the setup and hold time violations and we will make more videos on the recovery and uh, removal time of the asynchronous designs as well so i'll see you in the further videos thanks a lot for watching and bye bye